soldiers from the U.S. Army's 10th Mountain Division march into Cody Ashro in Wardak Province, southwest of Kabul. Wardak has seen bloody fighting in recent months as the Taliban expands its presence and U.S. reinforcements trickle in. Heavily armed American patrols are a common sight in local villages. This day, Afghan and American soldiers have come bearing gifts. School supplies for children, election materials for adults, and tiny Afghan flags for everyone. The aid is part of a two-year-old strategy for boosting the popularity of U.S.-led forces among everyday Afghans. It is an approach that the Pentagon and Army Command Sergeant Major Andrew Spano of the 10th Mountain Division hope will turn the Afghan people against the Taliban. We just had to um, focus our young leaders in how to uh, take the human terrain away from the enemies of Afghanistan, uh, and the human terrain being the, the people uh, of this country. U.S. Secretary of Defense Robert Gates first championed this Friends First strategy two years ago. He called it smart power, as in a smart mix of combat, aid, reconstruction, and diplomacy. But on the ground in Wardak, some soldiers say smart power is not working. Infantrymen are some of the toughest critics. They have spent most of their time training for firefights, not aid work. Before deploying, Command Sergeant Major Andrew Spano says they received a crash course in interacting with the Afghan people. Anything that uh, takes you away from our normal infantry task can be difficult, but when, you, when we, we trained, we did exercises back home, we, uh, the brigade spent a lot of money in using uh, American citizens that are of Afghan uh, descent to be, be role players in our exercises, it helped us in preparation for this uh, deployment. Still, many soldiers say they typically do not spend enough time in one community to build lasting ties with the Afghan people. Company commanders are expected to build personal relationships with local elders, but these in-demand leaders come and go every six months. Army Lieutenant Colonel Kimo Gallahu says coalition forces are spread too thin to make smart power work. There's only one rifle company. Um, here to augment and help assist do what we're doing, assist the security forces. The counterinsurgency in Afghanistan, in the, in the environment that we're operating in, requires people. It requires boots on the ground. And, Gallahue says, with violence escalating, many army units do not have the time to conduct humanitarian and development work. So security has to come first. Uh, and right behind that is development and good governance. And, and then, then you start working your way up the hierarchy. David Axe for VOA News.